Good morning, everybody. The topic of our devotion today is community is teamwork. Happy Sunday. And again, as always, our reading comes from today.refrainmedia.com. Our scripture verse today from the English Standard Version of the Bible is Ecclesiastes 4, verses 7 through 12, which go, Again, I saw vanity under the sun, one person who has no other, either son or brother, yet there is no end to all this toil. And his eyes are never satisfied with the riches, so that he never asks, For whom am I tolling, excuse me, for whom am I toiling and depriving myself of pleasure? This is also vanity and unhappiness business. Two are better than one because they have a good reward for their toil. For if they fall, one will lift up his fellow. But woe to him who is alone when he falls and has not another to lift him up. Again, if two lie together, they keep warm. But how can one keep warm alone? And through... And though a man might prevail against one who is alone, two will withstand him. A threefold cord is not quickly broken. Sam loves to play video games with his friends. He vividly remembers a time at the end of the school year when a group of them teamed up to compete in an especially difficult level. None of them have been able to do that on their own, but when they teamed up they were all, and used all their abilities and skills, they were able to win. That lesson is stuck in Sam's mind. Maybe you can think of a time when a group of people were able to accomplish something that would have been impossible for only one person to achieve. I'm reminded of the story in Mark 2 about the friends of a paralyzed man who lowered him through the roof to, to set him in front of Jesus. While this story is about so much more than just teamwork, imagine if one person had tried to lower the man through the roof instead of a group of them. How well would that have worked out? The writer of Ecclesiastes knew the benefits of working together. His description of a man working alone is heartbreaking, and in the end, all of that man's labor is meaningless. Working together with others gives greater reward, more assistance, and in the end, it's just plain smart. Are you trying to do things on your own that would work out better if you were doing it with others? Who can help you? Or... Whom can you team up with to get a better return on your efforts? Let's pray. Father, help us to work together so that our efforts may glorify and honor you. In Jesus' name, amen. We are better together is a slogan um, my church um, uses a lot. Uh, the church we used to go to actually combined with a larger church, and they came up with this slogan of better together, and they're absolutely right. We are all better together as brothers and sisters in Christ and work together for, for his good and for his glory. Keep that thought in your mind and all that you do today. Thank you and have a blessed day.